Now, I will tell you that some men are beginning to organize, and it's not all good news because uh, uh, there are there are these men's rights activists. That, now, there's some of the, some of it is perfectly respectable. There's some uh, groups that are trying to help boys in school, and there's the the men's health network. But there's a group called A Voice for Men, and it's run by a guy named Paul. Well, I won't even say his name because. He made a video denouncing me, so I'm not going to say his name. <laughs> he called me a stealth feminist, but it's not stealth. I'm the factual feminist. I don't pretend. But anyway, uh, he is the sort of counterpart to Professor Denudo. She hates, now she's all freaking out about men, freaking out, and he's freaking out about women. And on his website, he described women as opportunistic parasites in the lives of men. And like her, he has a list of injustices. Women, he says, exploit men financially. They subject us to ruinous divorces, alienate us, and da da da. He describes destructive personality disordered women whose evil acts are enabled by society. But instead of hating women, actually, Elam suggests people, just men, just avoid them. Uh, he endorses a movement called MGTOW, men going their own way. And, and, and he wants men, don't get married, don't date, stay away. If possible, be celibate. But if you need sex, hire an escort. Okay. <laughs> Susanna, that professor, and Paul, they're like some bitter divorcing couple. Uh, and they want to, you know, tell us what monsters the other is. I don't want to hear it. Uh, Modern life is a complicated mix of benefits and burdens. Uh, and it, I know, I have five minutes. That's, okay. Ah, ah. Oh. 